Yeah, what is going on everybody? Stiff back at it again with some more Madden NFL 17 gameplay. This time we're gonna be playing some draft champions in a new segment or new series that I'm gonna be calling Madden Champion Plays. Basically what it is, I'm gonna be playing some other YouTube personalities and we're gonna be playing either draft champions, mutt, regular teams. I wanna play some other YouTube personalities and start a cool little series. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. The first games are going to be played against Bateson. Now, if you guys don't know Bateson, he is a huge FIFA streamer. He's starting to get into some uh, Madden Ultimate Team and Madden in general. So I decided to play him first. Now, we had we played two videos. This is the first video. This is the first game. And then the second game is on his uh, personal channel, his second gaming channel. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out. Also, check out his personal channel because that's where he posts a lot of FIFA gameplay. Epic, epic stuff. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'm also going to be posting the second game on my personal channel, youtube.com forward slash official stiff. Link to that will also be in the description. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Love having every single one of you guys. And hit that like if you are going to enjoy this series. So just like I said, we're playing Bateson. Uh, we're going to be doing draft champions. It's going to be epic. Let's see what we get. So we're getting our playbooks right now, looking like we got the Chicago Bears, Seattle Seahawks, and Dallas Cowboys. Now, I don't know any of these playbooks particularly well. Uh, I'm basically right now looking at whether they're a 4-3 or 3-4 defense. I'm not even comfortable in defenses, but just because I'm a Bears fan, I'm going to be taking the Chicago Bears playbook uh, to see what they have in, in their playbook. I'm not really too sure, but I'll, I'll wing it. I'll wing it. That's what you have to do sometimes against so draft champions. Now, everyone knows the new really thing this year about draft champions rounds. is you get the you legend round first. And we are going to be position. picking yeah, John Elway, 91 overall that QB. I don't have to worry about a QB about for the rest of the draft, so I feel safe right with that. There. So as you guys can see right now, we're going to get a elite round, but I believe we're actually we're going to pass oh, up no on the Anthony Bob because he's got the speed and he can't really mess with speed in this game. So I'd rather take him over a strong safety. So now here we go, round three, we're oh, going to no be picking Doug Baldwin as a wide receiver. Figured he was the best case for that. Uh, all gold round right here. We got um, Knighton, uh, Patrick Chung, and Ever uh, Everin Griffin, I believe it is. We're going to end up taking him because he's got 91 or 92 power moves, I believe. And that's pretty Some decent for, you know, a draft champion's right gold now. card. So right now we're just going to take Bam Bam, Cam Chancer. She's got like 97 hit power, and I love hit power on my defense. So now we're on to round six. We got Stewart, we uh, Hughes, position. and Hill and the third. We're going to end up taking Stewart at free safety because he's also got some that big hit power for a gold card. Available. So round seven, we don't need a QB. Uh, we got a wide receiver or hide. We're just going to go with a secondary wide receiver, Pierre Garçon. Round eight, Three choices we got uh, a pretty good round. Tony Romo, we're not players. going to take him. But we're going to take the right guard. I do not how, know how to pronounce Both that, so I'm not even going to try to do that. Uh, round nine, we got Victor Cruz. We're just going to go with Victor Cruz because I don't need another free safety. Attention. And I don't like my option at halfback, even though I do not have a halfback yet. Boy, it's uh, I'm, I'm looking for an elite one. I'm hoping I get one. Round 10, we got Williams, fill, Levy, and Trevathan. We're going to go with a defensive tackle because we don't really have any good defensive tackles. And it's really not too sure if we're going to get one. Uh, not a really good round right there. We're going to just take Nate Soldier for another blocking guard. Now we get exactly what we wanted. We got our elite running back. I know we also had Luke Keekley and Houston out there, but running back is key in this and game these guys and I had to make sure I got one of the best running backs a, so I was B not going to take uh, a pass up on Jamal Charles. Right here we just take Demarcus Ware because he's got some pretty Always good block shedding. Also some power move. I was a little it's upset because we got AP right, right over here. Uh, we can't together. really take Tyron Matthew because I already took Stewart even though I would love to. So I'm just going to end up going with Alshon Jeffrey because I do know he's got pretty decent route running. He's a good run blocking wide receiver and I know that he will definitely make plays Boy, and also I'm a Bears fan so there's that. With so the last round we get a signature a item but we're eventually fill, just going to uh, eventually go with uh, Logan just because the other two were centers. I mean I know I need a center but I'd rather not go with that. So anyway here we got the game against Bates in 87. Again make sure you guys go check out the second game. It's on his channel on his gaming channel. Link to that will also be in the description and also my personal channel link to that as well make sure you guys go show him some love and also my personal uh, channel some love if you guys want to so here we go he gets the ball first I'm wearing Denver uniform I don't know why uh, I think it's because it's my mutt, mutt secondary uniform I know it's not my favorite team my favorite team is the Bears and Mutt 
oh, or in Madden 17, so I'm not really sure why I'm wearing Denver. But he's Seattle. I'm Denver uniforms. uniforms. He's dropping back. I think he's got Ben? And no, Matt Ryan. <laughs> he's got Matt Ryan. He ends up putting, putting the ball on the first drive, and we end up getting the ball. We do get ball at half, obviously, and we are going to try and run the stretch to the right side. Get a good game. Second and eight. We see man coverage. We try and lob it to Victor Cruz, and he is off to the races. Breaks one tackle, and could he go all the way? He does not, and we get to the six-yard line. Now we're thinking, let's give him, let's try and fancy it up to a, a, a little like tight end screen. Nah, uh-uh, ain't having any of it. His his middle linebacker Ray Nitschke actually picks it off, reads it perfectly. He probably got great play recognition, reads it perfectly, ends up picking it off. Doesn't take it to the house. But near close to it, I literally wanted to shit myself when I saw that. Didn't think that was capable of happening. Well, guess what it did. And then he ends up making me pay for it. Because he's got Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Ends up scoring. And now we have a tall order. He ends up missing an extra point. I always forget to show that to you guys. But first and ten, we do a dive up the middle with Jamal Charles. And he is gone. 46 yards, I believe it is. For like 53 yards, he is gone, and we get on the board 7-6. We don't we don't miss our extra point. We actually make it. Uh, third and seven, he throws into some traffic. Uh, actually gets fourth and one. Tries going with the QB sneak, but we got QB sneak defense right now, and we end up stopping him in the backfield for a turnover on downs. In the very next play, we have a swing left route or a motion swing left route with Jamal Charles, and that's his second tutty of the day. Going yard, baby. I love I love everything about that play. Wasn't expecting it the first time I ran it, and we make him pay. So it's second and ten, he's dropping back with Matt Ryan, trying to go deep to one of his wide receivers, Larry Fitzgerald. Ends up connecting on the aggressive catch. Good play by him. First and ten, goes with AP, breaks one tackle, and he is off to the races to the ten. And he's in for six. And he actually does not end up missing this extra point. He actually ends up making it, making it a 14-13 game. Basin really surprising me right now. Well, he actually has one of our books at MaddenPros.com. So make sure you guys go check that out. We got a Philadelphia Eagles offensive game plan up right now. We got, he definitely has access to it. He's not running Philly per se on offense, but he's definitely picking up some of the concepts from the book, and he is dominating right now on the gridiron. Couldn't be more proud, but back to the game. 19 seconds left. Clutch play call on my part. Jamal Charles with his third touchdown of the game. We go with the H please slip screen. We had no timeouts remaining. I knew if I got tackled before the, the, the end zone, I was going to be able to have enough time to get the field goal kicking out, and we end up getting it for six. So 21-13, I end up getting the ball. Third and 20, we try doing the same exact thing we did before half getting the touchdown throwing the screen to Jamal Charles and we end up getting not really that many yards and we are end up forcing the punt yeah you probably didn't think I end up punting but I end up punting <laughs> so he's gonna get the ball back in his 22 he's actually gonna do a pretty decent return and he's gonna get the ball back to the 49 yard line he's dropping back with Matt Ryan we send pressure and we get the block shed Francois Francis <laughs> gets the sack and it's third and 12. He ends up throwing a drag to Larry Fitzgerald and gets a great game. I was very disappointed in that. Can't believe he turned up field so quickly and got the first down. So right here, he's just dotting me up the middle of the field. He's picking up all the pressure I'm sending him. He's doing a great job on offense. And then he's almost going to solidify with Adrian Peterson. We end up getting the tackle here. But fourth and six, we're playing underneath coverage. And we get the stop. He throws into the flats. We put our corners in hard flats. And they play very well this year. So we end up getting a turnover on downs. And then we run the dive with Jamal Charles one more time. And let me tell you, this guy is having a hell of a game. He's got three tutties. He's got like over 200 yards right now. Absolutely insane. Jamal Charles is going off. And that's exactly why I waited to get a player like him in one of the rounds and pass up on those other running backs. Because I wanted an elite running back. This game caters towards running this year so far in the beginning of the season. And I took advantage of that. So we end up settling for three, 24-13. And this is where Bateson gets a little, you know, inexperienced for Madden. And I'm going to be able to teach him this during the whole Madden season, the football season. Because he's just getting new to Madden NFL. He's he's running, he ran the ball way too much, you know, this drive. He needs to score quickly and then, you know, hopefully get an onside kick or whatever. Right there he ends up throwing a nice little, um, 
a little post route, but right here, he ends up doing a nice little play action fake. He tries going deep, and we get the, give me that one time, let's go! Banks number 27, getting the clutch INT and sealing the game for me. I'm just gonna run it with Jamal Charles one more time. Fakes one guy out with a spin, and we are gonna take it home 24-13. Great game to Bates and guys. Make sure you guys go check out his gaming channel. That's where the second game is. His, also his personal channel where he posts a lot of people you guys are uh, FIFA gameplay. Also check out my personal channel that I'll also put in the link to, the, to that in the description uh, where I post some NBA live gameplay, some other exclusive Madden content. The second game will also be on that as well. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. Smash that like button. Comment. Let me know if you're going to be enjoying this new series and I will see you guys in the next video. Adio.